Welcome to Big Daddy Storytime. We're reading Bernstein Bears and the Ghost of the Forest. Off goes the scouts to camp out all night. Will an unwelcome ghost visit their site? Look out for Papa, said Brother Bear as the Bear Scouts tiptoed down the stairs. We won't need Papa. We won't need Pop, Sister said. Not this trip, agreed Freddy. I see you scouts are on your way into the great spooky forest for an overnight stay. Pa, I hope you excuse us, said Brother Bear, but this is a trip we'd rather not share. It's also a trip I'd rather not share. Me sleep with the spooks, not on a dare. Spooks? gasped the scouts. Not a little afraid. Spooks of all kinds. A nightly patrol, uh, parade. And boss of them all, the ghost of the wood. Call off the trip. Scouts, I really and truly think you should. Nonsense, said Mama, who overheard. Spooks, indeed. Not another word. Your papa is just trying to give you a scare. So be off with you, Scouts, smiled uh, wise Mama Bear. As the Scouts waved goodbye to Mama Bear, Pa sneaked around and climbed the stairs then up to the up to the attic to the old rags rag box what's papa up to the sly old fox the sly sly papa cut three holes into a sheet and turned himself into the into a ghost with bare feet later Leader Jane uh, met the scouts at the edge of the woods. No Papa, she asked. That's very good. Papa gave us a bit of a fright. He said there are spooks and they come out at night. Spooks? Well, that's nonsense. Now let me explore, uh, explore, or explain. There are no such things said uh, Scout uh, Leader Jane. So the Scouts went to work setting up camp, raising the tents, filling the lamps, building the fire, getting it lit. Jane took time to explore a bit. She collected some leaves. She studied some seeds. That's when she heard a voice in the weeds. Chuckling and talking to himself uh, in there was, you guessed it, Papa Q. Bear. This trick will be fun, Papa said as he put the sheet over his head. Hmm, said Jane as she tippy-toed away. This is a game that two can play. Then using twigs and leaves as a base, she started to make what looked like a face. The scouts told stories in the firelight when they all bedded down for the night. They, they heard it just as they started to doze. It frightened those cubs from their head to their toes. Woo! I am the ghost of the forest. They ran to the they ran to Teacher Jane's tent, but Teacher J but Jane uh, but Jane wasn't there. What what shall we do? cried Sister Bear. Then a spookier spook came into sight, and gave the first goat a terrible fright. Woo! I am the ghost of the forest. And who did uh, who, who did Spook 2 turn out to be? Leader Jane, of course. That's when they saw Spook number 3. Woo! Woo! 
as the campers set and Papa shivered and shook. Sis opened an eye and took a good look. She saw something strange, a yellow hat on a pumpkin head, Papa's red pajamas, and a polka-dotted dress that looked exactly like Mama's. Just having fun, the voice, uh, it, it was Mama. Then her head poked out of Papa's pajamas. Teaching Papa a lesson like this was just too good a chance to miss. It's a double ghost lesson, said Jane with a grin. There are no such things. There never have been. But just as sure as night follows by day, it's fun to scare to be scared of them anyway. So what we can learn from this, my friends, is this. Camping's fun. Stories, uh, spooky stories are fun to tell around the campfire. But in the end, they're not true. And spending time with your family and those stories are always fun. So be uh, be blessed and remember come back to Big Daddy Storytime for more lesson uh, for more videos and we will uh, that'll be good bye bye